What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of Volkswagen bus ads. These are buses I've tried to buy or sent to my friends. Either way, I have screenshots of them on my phone, so I decided to make a video of them. To get started, this is a 69 uh, Deluxe bus. It looks like it's pretty rusty in the usual areas. There might be more rust in the back, you can't really see it, but for 500 bucks, I definitely would have bought it if you would have answered me back. But yeah, you know, something like this, a Volkswagen bus for 500 bucks, they sell pretty, pretty dang quick. Um, if it ended up being too rusty, you could always transfer all those um, parts onto a shell. Like, there's so many good parts there and so much money sitting there in parts if the shell ended up being bad, which I don't even know. In this case, it looks like the bottom of the doors are rusted too right here. But like I said, 500 bucks, I would have would have purchased that. This is a 78 West. I don't have any pictures of it. He texted me some pictures of it, but I can't find those now, of course. Uh, it had no engine, no trans, uh, but it was pretty com complete other than that. The body was pretty straight. He started sanding down part of it because he started a restoration and you know how that goes. But 2,000 bucks, not bad. A 78 West, he was actually my first bus I ever owned. Here's a 73. Um, the guy put Westie, but it's clearly some type of door mobile or something. If you guys know what kind of camper this is, let me know. 7,900 bucks, that's not terrible. Um, a 77 Westie. This thing looks bone dry, literally. I don't see a speck of rust on it. Great little roller. If you have a rusty bus, you want to transfer all the parts over to the shell, that'd be kind of bus you'd want to buy. So for 1200 bucks, I don't think it's a bad deal. It already has the you know Westie roof section on it, of course. Um, here's a 71. This thing was weird. So it, I don't know if it was the same guy, same guy posting this or it got passed around a few times, but it started out at four, then it was like at 55, and then eventually it was like $8,500. I don't know if it was the same guy posting it or what the deal was, but here, here it was when it was four grand. Uh, 5,000 bucks. This thing has a rebuilt motor in, I believe. It's a 77, so it's a smogger, which is kind of unfortunate, especially if you're in California. But yeah, so anything pre-75, you don't have to smog, but all these newer buses, you, you would have to smog this thing. But for five grand, not a bad deal. It's got a cool color, it has a look. Uh, man, I wanted this thing so bad, but it was gone by the time I got in contact with him. 73, 2,500 bucks. Um, gold color is just so sweet on it. I have a high top that I would have thrown right on top of that thing. Uh, yeah, it's a, it looks like a kind of a basket case. The engine is out of it and some other issues, but 2,500 bucks, not bad at all. Here's a runner and driver, uh, 6,900, or 16, 1969 bus, 7,900 bucks. Uh, not much to say about it. The paint job kind of looks, maybe it was like rattle can or something, but yeah, nice bus. 6,500 bucks for the 72 Deluxe. It looks like they swapped the motor out of it. It runs very well. It's a cool bus. Here's a shell for 35. And this is a pre-smog because it's a 74. It's one thing we always look out for is those pre-smogs. I tried to buy this bug, but a German exporter, I tried to buy this bus, but a German exporter beat me to it. I had the deal locked in for two grand, but someone else, uh, you know, I guess offered the full price. I just love the patina on this bus. I thought it looked just so cool. And it's actually complete with engine and trans and everything. So for two grand, this thing would have been, would have been sweet. It just has that look to it, you know? 5,900 bucks for this bus. Um, I, I believe it ran and drove. I think I have more pictures of this one. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so 5,900 bucks is like super good deal on this, I feel like. Uh, great restoration project, very little rust, rebuilt motor, yeah. Shifting linkage needs adjustment. Starts right up. Not a bad bus for that price. 5,900 bucks get, get you into a Westie. It's a early, early uh, Bay Wind. You can tell by these lights right here. And now this is more rounded over here, and you got the more round back here, and then of course, I think what everyone wants is these tail lights, just like the split windows, right? Anyways, okay, here's a bus I'm looking for. If any of you guys out there <laughs> have a bus similar to this one, I don't know what year this one is. I'm thinking it's '90s. It's a water-cooled bay window bus. I don't know if it's from Mexico. I think this one's from Mexico, but they also had them in Brazil. But basically, I'm looking for a water-cooled bay window bus um, with like the inline four like golf style motor um, this one happened to be a bench seat and it was a panel van but yeah that one was like all the way in arkansas or something i really want one of those though here's a 77 westy this thing runs and drives but is covered in rust i don't think it's original california bus it's like yeah it's pretty rusty but it's titled and all that stuff so i mean it's registered and titled yeah yep it's ready to go so for four grand, forty five hundred bucks, I would buy it and just drive it as is. Pretty much, it has a lot of rust issues. Yeah, good deal on these windows. Two hundred bucks for some Jalousie windows, and they come with new Wolfsburg West seals. What is steel? Two hundred bucks for a set of Jalousies. That's cheap. 
five grand for this bay window. Looks pretty clean. Well, actually, that that black tape up there, whatever, is probably hiding a bunch of rust. Wow, for some reason the rain gutters on this thing are like terrible. So rebuilt engine, but the, it needs transaxle work. But for five grand, can't beat it. This is a funny one I just decided to throw in there. So it was posted for 900 bucks, and it's just a pretty bare bones shell, Westy. And then look at someone bought it, and put some tires on it, threw it up for three grand. It's funny how that happens. I'm a sucker for orange buses if you guys haven't figured it out. This one was 5G's. It's a 76, so it'd have to be smogged. But yeah, orange buses just look sick. It's pretty dry. There's that bus again. This one's been on uh, Facebook Marketplace forever, and I'm sure he would take 1500 bucks for it. Uh, it's rusty. Honestly, it's a panel van that you can tell is converted. You can see those windows aren't, you know, Westy windows and has some weird top on it. So I don't know what kind of what you'd be getting into. It's all rusted out. But for 1500 bucks, I might take a swing at it eventually. This thing I can't even believe is so cheap. $8,000. Uh, it's on Facebook Marketplace as well. This runs and drives. It's a high topper van. Uh, I don't remember I don't remember who the make was of it. But uh, yeah, runs and drives. I, don't, I can't believe I any more pictures of it either. But it's nice. Here's one on eBay. I watch them on eBay every once in a while too. 6,100 bucks. Uh, this one's pretty close to me. Uh, 74 transporter. It had an engine fire. They're asking six grand for it. Doesn't look too cooked. It's not bad. There's that bus again. Yeah, the guy keeps going lower and lower on the price. Out of all the buses I just shown you, besides that water cooled one, this is the bus I would have bought. Six thousand dollars. If I could have got to it in time, six G's for this thing. These things are actually pretty hard to find in that color. That's they originally came like that um, from the conversion company or whatever. But yeah, look at all green. This is so sick. I love this color of bus and it's a high topper. So you can go out camping that thing. Do you think this is AC? I was trying to figure out what this is. It looks like some sort of aftermarket air conditioner or I don't know. But man, that thing's pretty dreamy. I love it. 3500 bucks for a 79 Westie, so you'd have to smog it, but it's super complete. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look to be too bad for 3500 bucks. Even the front floors are good. But right there, it's all rusted out. I have a video actually I posted like a couple years ago of me replacing this panel right here. If you guys want to go check that out, if you have a bay window bus. This one was up in Lake Arrowhead, or Crestline, I think. And it was only 800 bucks. I messaged this guy and said, hey, would you take 1500 bucks? I'll come grab it right now. And he's like, someone's already on their way for 800. And I was like, dang, dude. Sometimes you got to offer more if you know it's a good deal and it's going to go fast. Because 800 bucks for a, for a bus. And he says all it, needed was, all it needed was a fuel pump. This thing, the reserve was not met. Uh, I think it went up to six grand. This was on eBay. This thing was especially cool. It had a rebuilt engine and all kinds of goodies. But yeah, it didn't end up selling. And the last one we got is a 77 Volkswagen bus, 1500 bucks in Long Beach. It's a smogger, so it's pretty cheap. Um, that's even cheap for a smogger though. I've seen them go for a lot more than that and it's pretty bare bones. But yeah, so anyways, if you guys like this week's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Uh, I hope you guys like these videos or me just going over these ads that I have saved on my phone. Uh, I'm constantly looking on eBay, offer up, Facebook, um, all over for these, for these Volkswagens. Like I said, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.